All right, so today is a very exciting video. We have a 2023 Model S, which has full self-driving. So what I wanna do is I wanna get behind the wheel and take it for a spin, or let it take us for a spin. And as a matter of fact, what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna have you get behind the wheel. So. Let's flip the camera on you now. On me now? Yeah. All right. So, Zach, you're gonna get behind the wheel. All right. And uh, I wanna get your experience with full self driving. All right, let's do it. everybody so this is Zach Zach has been helping me out on some of my videos lately so you guys get to meet him um, have you ever driven a Tesla I have not I have not driven a Tesla before um, just looking at it right now trying to figure out what to do okay have you ever driven an electric vehicle before negative okay I have not driven an electric vehicle <laughs> so you're a virgin to electric vehicles you're a virgin to uh, Tesla's I am. and you've never obviously had a car drive itself no. or drive you around not at all no. okay so this is gonna be this is gonna be fun all so right. if you want to just drive okay so I just put on the brake okay so key 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 that's your key this is my key and put this here you put it right yep where the phone charger is at all right all right. You don't need to be gentle with it. It's a it's a car. Okay. <laughs> it's not my car. You can put it in drive now. Okay. Where, Go I... ahead. Put it in drive. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I have I have not even a clue to where to look. Right, yeah. right here. On the screen here. Okay. Look. So. Swipe up. There you go, you're in drive. So I'm letting go of the brake. Okay. All right. And then this, this S has a yoke. So I want to get your thoughts on the yoke. Yoke. This is the steering wheel. That's oh, what they call like it, this, yoke. I like the steering wheel. It's kind of like a, it feels like a video game. Yeah. Well, you got to drive the Cybertruck then. Yeah, it feels like a little go-kart. Oh, wow. So as soon as you let go of... It's, that's how, wow. Regenerative braking. Wow. That's something you got to get used to 100%. Because you, I'm used to braking. You got to put your signal on. Where's the signal? Thing. <laughs> there? These little buttons? Yeah. Oh, okay. We should, I feel like I'm learning how to drive right now. <laughs> so don't let go. Ah, oh, see, this is weird. This is, this is something you got to get used to. How long did it take you to get used to this? The braking? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you—it's pretty quick. Because it feels like I'm two pedaling right now, like two feet. Oh, are you? To, You're no, doing? Like, no, it feels oh. like because I'm. Well, it, they call it one pedal driving, right? Because you don't need to ever move your foot. Yeah, see, that's weird. To the brake, it just brakes for you. Yeah, but it's not even like a. How do you explain that? Because it's not. It's not like I'm hitting the brake. It's like I'm almost like because I've as soon as I let go, it's a slow. It's a slow brake. Look at that thing! It's a blinker. Like on that. purpose or on accident? On accident. <laughs> <laughs> I like the steering wheel though. This feels the steering wheel feels amazing. It turns like butter, but this no pun intended. Oh yeah, touche. <laughs> but this. Braking is definitely got to get used to this, because like right now I would like kind of roll, right? But yeah. I can't, I can't roll. So once you get used to it, what ends up happening is, you, it's like you know that you know your speed, and what speed you're going, and how soon you should release the accelerator. <laughs> this literally feels like I'm learning how to drive again. What about the acceleration? I love the acceleration. 
It's immediate, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to get this foot down like it's like... I feel like you're overthinking, like you're, you're, you're like really thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Very aware. That, I'm, like I'm very keen on drivers, so it's like I feel like... But I think I'm getting it. That, that stop was a lot better. You a better than that jerk where you almost break your neck? Yeah. But I love the acceleration, 100%. Oh, just punch a little bit. Oh, oh. Ooh. Wish my truck did this. Well, if you had a cyber truck, it would 100% do that. You should get a cyber truck. <laughs> It's nice, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I, I'm always telling people that when you drive electric, I understand there's a lot of benefits to gas, right? Um, especially with trucks. But when you drive electric, like it honestly, okay. yeah, honestly, you leave that experience going, wow, that was really, really nice. I enjoyed that. I want my car to be just like that. And that's what converts, I think, a lot of people, is that they they then want that in their everyday drive. So when you say that there's benefits to gas... For trucks, I would say yes, because, like what we talked about many times, when you're towing mm -hmm. or hauling or, or doing something truck-related, superchargers charging stations aren't always going to accommodate you correct and so that's why i say gas you know and then as of right now there's no um electric truck that's going to tow twenty five thousand pounds and some people need that so i understand people that go i i need to have a gas truck oh yeah i mean plus like me i have a truck currently mm -hmm. my first time driving in an ev mm -hmm. I mean, it feels very fun, um, but to me, this feels, doesn't feel like a car. It feels like a toy from here right now, because I'm not used to it, Yeah. but I love it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it does. Well, Mike says all the time that his car, his three, mm -hmm. he feels like he's driving a go-kart. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what this feels like. This because feels this like is bigger and heavier. So imagine the three, smaller, more compact, a little bit more nimble. Yeah, because I'm, I mean, I'm 6'2", and this is... A lot of room. Yeah. Plenty of room. 100%. That's why I like the S more than the three. We had a three. We now have an S. And the three, you were like... The three, I felt a little bit more... And and, and you, you can fit at 6'2", you could fit in the driver's seat comfortably, mm -hmm. but your passengers behind you... There's no room. Like right here, like I, I guarantee you I could get back there and, and sit behind you and I'm fine. But I guarantee in this car. If this if this is me, I'm probably moving this back. Um because I like to Yeah. I like to spread lean. out. Yeah. Oh, you want to be a gangster. Mm -hmm. You're like bit. Mike. That's what Mike did in our yeah. video that we did with the Cybertruck. He he was he put that thing back. He was So the reason the purpose of this video is um, full self driving has been out for a little while, but they've made a lot of improvements and they just recently released like the newest version of it. So it's supposed to be really crisp, really tight, really tuned in, um, where it's, it's like ready for prime time. And so that's the reason why I wanted to do this video is because my Cybertruck doesn't have it yet. My S is too old, doesn't have the technology to do it. This is a newer S. Um, so this has the capability, has the full self-driving already installed. So it's just a matter of putting in an address and letting it do its thing. And you want me to be the nervous one behind the wheel? I want to see you shake in your boots. Great. So, so I don't touch <clears throat> anything. You don't touch anything. It, it'll prompt you on the screen that you need it because it wants you to keep your hands on the wheel. Okay, so now put your foot on the brake. Swipe up, put it in drive. Okay, start driving. 
Okay, so now press the scroll wheel. Okay, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, now take your foot off the gas or the accelerator. Just. So we are full on, full self-driving right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drive to uh, our local supercharger. It's making me feel better about my driving. <laughs> okay, so we're navigating through a neighborhood. It's turning. So it just turned on the blinker by itself. It's going to make the turn for us. So we'll look. <laughs> Makes you nervous? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so I was trying to think, I was like, how does it know it has this blinker on? Is it going to slow? What is it? You don't look too confident. This, this is strange. Okay, so we're coming up on a red light. We need to make a left. So this is based off of the camera system or? Yeah, cameras, um, Model S, it's, it's all, I believe it's all camera based. There might be some sensors. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I know this is one of the newer ones, so and then if you ever, some things. If you ever get nervous or anything, you can just What, hit the brake? <laughs> yeah, so if you hit the brake, it turns it off. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm just enjoying the drive. And watching the show of you yeah, sweating is... bricks over here. So we're showing no hands, no hands. your feet. Feet are, feet are off. Your feet are off. And it's driving us. Uh, okay, so right now it's it, it, it ran into a, an issue because the lights are out. Yeah, Go ahead so and pr press the accelerator. Yeah, because it's stopping. So here was an issue. We're in a construction zone. The signal there is covered, so it didn't know if it was green or, or red. Is it doing, is it back? Yeah. Okay, let go of the accelerator. Okay, so it's back, it's doing its thing. So that was a good example of, it wasn't able to read what was going on. So, it, but it did the right thing. It did the right thing, it came it, to a stop. It treated it like it was a power outage yeah. stoplight. Yeah. Which 99% of the drivers don't yeah. listen to. Yeah. I should have let it go just to see if it was going to treat it like a stop or if it was going to yeah, treat it, it like a red Yeah, it could have just light. went. Yeah, it could have just went after waiting a few seconds. Interesting as well is the fact that this is, um, what is it, a 45 zone? But because of the construction, it was a 35 zone. It recognized that and lowered the speed of the vehicle. Did you notice that it just swerved out of a pothole too? No, I did not notice that. I was too busy looking at the screen. Did it do that? Yeah, it went around the pothole. So that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That's a good thing or a... Well, I, it's gonna help save your rims and tires, I think. No, that I understand, the vehicle longevity. But I guess I'd, I would have to see if there was a car next to you or not. It, I, it's gonna know that. Okay. It'll know that. It won't. I think it'll sacrifice the rims and tires, potentially, than swerving into a car. So, what are your thoughts so far? My thoughts are. Oh, there it goes. Nervous. Still. It's. It's hard to earn my trust. So the fact that I'm just trusting a vehicle to, or a computer or a camera to, to drive better than me, but it's clearly showing me that I can trust it. It drives smooth. It, we saw it handle the construction zone 
I mean, it's a smart system. And it's not herky-jerky? No, it's not jerky. It's, it's not jerking you around, or us around. And I will say, older autopilot, full self-driving vehicles that I've driven, they will kind of, even when you're in lane, it'll kind of... Like sway? It, it, it kind of like a, like a bumper car. You're kind of... Oh, like know, lane drifting? Yeah. You know, you're staying within the lane, but it's kind of just bouncing. Yeah, this is... From side, this is pretty straight. I mean, even the braking is smooth. We're braking right now. Well, it's braking better than I would. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't I don't have any complaints. Or it's just, you know, it's, this is new, so it's like... Okay, so I'm going to be curious to see how it handles right now. Because we're going to go into this shopping center that's pretty busy. Mm -hmm. People walking, cars, and it's going to have to navigate. So... And I'm going to close my eyes and just let it do its thing. All right. Okay, so it's 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 driving itself. Okay. Okay, that was a little that okay. All right. So what are it's we a little herky jerky. Okay, now you got to take okay. the lead. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it didn't do what it was supposed to do. No, it did not. <laughs> but that's the reason why we're doing this. It, it almost, it almost like it's got, it got confused on what it was supposed to yeah. do. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to come here because I wanted to test that. Yeah. So that was actually really, really interesting. You want to explain what happened? No, I, I, it, it's like a... We came into the shopping center. It was a two lane. Mm -hmm. We needed to make, make a right. It two. took us initially into the left. And then, it, and then it's like it almost froze and didn't know what to do because there was a car behind us. It started going to the right, and then it just stopped. And it kind of stopped in between both lanes, right? Yeah, it did. So it stopped in between both lanes. And then as I took it to the right, it tried to go back to the left. So it fought you. Well, that was the, that was the whole purpose of, of doing this is I wanted, number one, I wanted to mess with you a little bit. But yeah, you definitely mess with I, me. <laughs> I wanted to test this system and see I like this car. how it was going to operate and I wanted to kind of challenge it a little bit. I like that we went through the construction zone. It handled that really well. Yes, it did. Coming into the busy shopping center, it struggled, which is interesting. I mean, it's concerning because it didn't do what it's supposed to do, but I like that it treated the construction of that red light like a stop sign. This car can be fun. Oh, these cars are fun. They really are. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I love trucks. I truly, truly love trucks. I've had many trucks, and then I always get that itch of like, oh, I have a truck. I've had a truck for three, four years. I love my truck, but I miss a car. Mm -hmm. You know, so I go down and I get a car. I enjoy the car, and then I always miss the truck. I miss the utility, I miss the sides, I miss everything there is about a truck. Correct. That is the main reason why I wanted an electric truck, specifically a Tesla because of the supercharger network, because that's the best network, charging network. And a lot of these other companies are already, you know, moving towards that. Their Rivian is pretty much going to Tesla NACS, um, GM's doing it, Ford's doing it, everyone's doing it because it's the best network. But anyways, that's a different topic. Because you're you're getting the best of both you're worlds. You're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting a truck where you could do truck stuff, but then you're getting that speed, the agility, all of that of a, of a car. Yeah, not even that, a sports car. It, yeah, and so it's just like, it's like a no-brainer for, for me. Yeah, because it like we were just talking about like my dream car, '67 Chevelle. I have a truck. I've had a truck for four years now. Yeah. And I miss like you're right. I you do get yeah. that feeling where you're like, yeah. I just want to be low to the ground yeah. and just have some fun. Yeah. But this is, I think you hit it on the nail. Like as far as go kart, this feels like I'm driving a go kart and it's ridiculously fun. All right, Zach. So you're on the other side of the camera now. 
on the I'm other. on the other side of the camera yeah. now. Kind of like it over here. So you drove the S. Drove the you S. drove a Tesla. You drove an electric vehicle for the first time ever. You yep. popped your cherry. Popped my EV cherry. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. No, thumbs up 100%. Uh, I loved everything that was. It was, you know, I kind of felt like the older guy trying to do a computer for the first time. But, um, <laughs> Showing your age now? Yeah, 100%. But no, I mean, the look alone is enough to just intrigue you. But when you actually get into the driving driver's seat and get to play around with it and drive it, no. It's... Well, you kept saying it was fun. Yeah, it's, it makes driving fun again. Tesla's making driving fun again. Tesla is making driving fun again. I have no complaints. Comfortable? Comfortable. Obviously, I would say if I were to go this route, I would probably go a little bit bigger just because of my needs. So the lineup of cars is the three Y, then an S, which is this, then the bigger SUV, which is the X. So that might be something so you're that, talking about. Yeah. And then the Cybertruck. So this is bigger than the Y? Yes. Wow. Then yeah, it would probably be X. X is a great family car because you got two little ones. Yeah, correct. So that would be more of a, that's the one that has the Falcon wing doors. Oh, okay. You know that one? I would just need that just due to the Falcon. <laughs> just to be flashy? Yep. No, I would. So comfort wise, it was comfortable inside? It was, it was comfortable, 100%. Um, what about the ride? How did it? The ride was smooth. I mean, driving over pot wheel, or potholes, railroad tracks. Acceleration? Acceleration was amazing. Braking? I mean, you felt the braking, right? Braking is good. <laughs> you struggled is... a little bit. How do you feel? You drove it for what? Like probably 30 minutes. Yeah, probably like, yeah, 20, 20, yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, you get, like you said, you get used to it, obviously. It's just like driving a new car for the first time. You, yeah. You got to feel for the car. Yeah. But that system is something that you got to get used to. Yeah. So you felt better about it. Yeah. I mean, and then the ultimate thing was the full self-driving. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I would, I'd be a long ways away from using that when uh -huh. I first got this. But yeah. Amazing feature. Um, we had a couple of hiccups. Yeah, a couple of little hiccups. The, the, the red one light. was understandable in yeah, the construction the zone. One, that's very understandable because it was a confused. Do I stop? The lights were just blacked out. Correct. They put like bags like or something a power over. Outage, so. Yeah. So the car didn't know what to do there. Correct. So it just stopped, the trying busy, to be safe. The busy shopping center. The shopping um, center was a little. I expected that. I was hoping it wasn't going to do that, but I was expecting it. Well, to be fair, though, if I'm using that, as yeah. soon as I get to that area, yeah. I would be driving now anyways. Okay. So it would more, it'd be more of a just, hey, relax until I get to the driveway of the destination or the entrance, and then I'm And in, then you'll inside. take over. Correct. Okay. So that wasn't a, that's not like a deal breaker for you? No. So that's not the final end product. That's kind of like this was that this whole drive test was more of, this is the newest version, let's go test it out. And I thought it did really well. No, I mean, it's... Because I've had, I've driven the, some of the older versions and it wasn't as smooth as that. Turning was a little bit more jerky. It kind of like, like you know, kind of work like its way. About, like swaying. It kind everything. of work your way to, to its ultimate goal. This was a lot smoother. I would say that anybody who's going to complain about this would just be nitpicking because it did everything you'd want it to actually do. And then in that instance where there was the red light out, it did what it was supposed to do. So I, I have no qualms with it. it. It did everything you would want it to do. Fantastic. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. All right. Sounds good. So guys, that's Zach. Now you know who he is. The man, the mystery. The myth, the legend. The myth. The myth. <laughs>